I think I discovered a secret of how you can live longer. When I was younger, I watched this movie called Menace to Society. And in the movie, the theme was about whether or not he cared if he lived or died. And spoiler, at the end, he does, but it's far too late because he's died. That's kind of how I feel at the age of 48. I'm now discovering just how amazing life is and I think I discovered a secret of how you can live longer. Now, I've been fortunate to be able to speak to lots of different people. I've been walking around with a signboard that says, Running saved your life, tell me how. And in this journey, I've managed to speak to some incredible people, two of whom I want to talk about today. And that is Kogi Reddy and Danny Govender. Now, both these men just happen to be over 70 years old and they both look amazing. Now they have incredible stories to share. Kogi is um, a 19 comrade marathon finisher. Danny is 75 years old and he runs an organization that is focused on, on well-being. His whole lifestyle is about well-being. He tries to share this with different people. So I'm going to show you these conversations with both with Kogi and with Danny. And then come up back with some of my closing thoughts about what I think you can do to extend your life. Uh, good morning, man. Uh, thank you for, for, for chatting with me. Yeah. Uh, my, my important thing for me is my running has been part of my life. Yeah. Uh, I've been running since 1979. I recovered from a stroke in 2003. I ran the comrades again in 2010. So the two things about the, the running, it's uh, your mental fitness, your well-being, your health. And that's what I'm trying to, to promote. I'm 72 now. I'm trying to change the lifestyles of people, more especially our seniors, because when they retire, they, there isn't facilities for them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm trying to do that and do food gardens with schools and encourage them about healthy living. Yeah. So I take no medication, no supplements. Two very important things. Are you looking with style? Yeah, yeah. Your, your, your food is your medicine yeah. and your health is your wealth. Nice. And the other very important thing is live in the moment. Don't worry because we, don't, we all don't know how much time we have in our bank. Mm -hmm. We know how much money we got in our bank. And the end result is live and enjoy your life, lead a healthy life and you have a better quality of life. Yeah. How many comrades did you say? I've run 19. I should have been my 20th this year. What? But I picked up a bad virus in April. So my doctor advised me just so next year will be my 20. Maybe it's even better because I finish in Durban. Then my best time in the comrades was 6.21. Wow. And in the two oceans was 3.31. Gee, well, and my best, my best marathon was 2.33. What? So, so I'm telling you from experience, you know what yeah. I mean? Fantastic, man. You know what? Uh, running, walking is about the, the best thing you can ever do. I've been doing it for years. I'm now 75 and I'm still doing it. It keeps you healthy, takes the disease away. And you know what? Your medical bills are nil. All right. So I would recommend anybody to do running or walking at least. Yeah. Uh, every morning, every day, once once a week is fine, but start there, start somewhere, start walking, guys. Your body needs to be moving. You yeah. cannot sit and do nothing. You'll just get into a bulk shape and you're not going to move thereafter, right? You need to move. Yeah. But so how did you come across, like, what was it, the turning point for you that made well, you... there was no turning point. I actually, I was born that way, I was supposed... You know, I, I grew in a healthy family, I ate healthy food, and I was educated to be healthy, live healthy, healthy body, healthy mind. The only way you can have healthy body, healthy mind is by keeping it going. The body needs to be moving, not stagnating, right? So, so important, actually. If you want to actually have a good physique, you want to have no medical bills, you don't want to have bodies are paining and your, your joints are giving up, you need to move that body. The Head Good Life Foundation in South Africa, and you know what, I try and encourage everybody to get out there and do something different. All right, so both of these were incredible stories. I feel so fortunate that I got to talk with them. And at 48 years old, what I'm noticing now for myself is that I feel better than I have ever before. You know, and I don't think it's just the running. I think running forms part of it. I think it's the constant movement that really just elevates your physical well-being but also stimulates your mental well-being. 
In this conversation with both with Kogi and with Danny, you can see that they are over 70 years old, 72 and 75 years old, and they both look in fantastic shape. Now obviously they're busy exercising, so they're sweaty. But that doesn't take away from just the, the their physical presence, the fact that they're walking long distances, the fact that Kogi is going to be running his 20th Comrades Marathon next year, the fact that they speak very highly of how they aren't on any medication they aren't taking any medication as kogi said you know your health is your wealth i mean that is a fantastic statement just to be able to say that and with danny is talking about how he is running this organization this talks about well-being so i want to encourage you that if you are feeling a little bit sluggish in your day to day no matter what your age but especially if you're over 40 years old we encourage you to try and find some movement in your day walk a little bit more try and take the stairs you know i had a conversation with gavin who is an elite athlete and his journey started in 2018 and it was simply just by taking the stairs and so we don't have to start off with running marathons or set crazy goals like i did you can simply start with just trying to do walks be more consistent in your walk see if that changes how you feel about yourself your happiness your well-being the choices that you make with eating <laughs> now i'm not claiming this is going to make you lose weight but i most certainly think that it's going to help you in your life with a better outlook in what's possible so if you found this information useful and you think that there's uh, you agree with this message you know let me know in the comments if you disagree with this message also let me know in the comments if you think that there's a different way to extend your well-being to extend your life maybe you know whatever your thoughts are on the topic i'd love to hear them if you can share those in the comments thank you so much for being here for watching this video for sharing in these stories about how running exercise and movement has really changed people's lives it certainly has for me and I'd appreciate it if you could just give this video a like and maybe share it with somebody that you think would enjoy the story and this message. Anyway, my name's Richard and this has been Richard Talks.